back into the driver one more time. All right, now let's restore our defaults and let's move over here to the right. So we can select our original paper size. You can see it's set to letter, but I do have all of these other options available to me as well. I can also select my print paper size. In this case, it's set to same as original size, but perhaps I wanted to switch it to ledger. So if I wanted to do that, I could select ledger. Paper source is set to auto as of right now, but I do have the option of selecting a specific drawer. For instance, if I select drawer one, you'll notice that drawer one is highlighted over here on the eStudio. Similarly, if I actually click on a drawer in the image, it will select the corresponding drawer over here in the dropdown. I've got my paper type options below that. You can see it's set to plain, but perhaps I have a thicker size cardstock, maybe up to 140 pound index. So if that's the case, I can let the system know by selecting that. And then you can also see that there is a destination option here. Tray two is selected, but perhaps I'd like to have this printed out on the upper exit tray. And once I selected that from the dropdown, you can see it's also highlighted over here in the image of the eStudio. I've got my number of copies right here. It's set to one, but I could go up to 9,999 if I wanted to. Orientation is on portrait mode, but perhaps I'd like it on landscape. And if that's the case, I'll just check that landscape box. And the last thing that I wanna show you here, the color options are set to auto, but perhaps I could choose uh, full color, black and white, or twin color instead. I'm gonna leave it set to auto. And at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead, say okay, and print.